and welcome back to MicroStrategies Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled iOS Rebranding, Deployment, Non-MDM. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to distribute your enterprise application to your users' devices without the use of a mobile device management solution. So instead of an MDM solution, we're simply going to distribute the application via a mobile website, as you can see in my simulator. Essentially, we're going to be creating a web-based app store just for you and your apps. Okay, so let's get started. In order to complete the tutorial, we're going to need the two files that were generated when you archived your application in ModaCourse iOS Rebranding, Provision, Sign, and Archive. If you've not done so already, go to Xcode and archive your application in order to get the corresponding application file and plist file. Once you have that, make sure you transfer the files to a web server. My web server is over here, which I'm currently remote desktoped into. You can transfer the files over using a cloud drive or over email, whichever is your preference. Once I have these over, I'm going to go ahead and open IIS Manager on my machine. I see here underneath my sites and my default website that I have a web application called Example App Store, which I had created previously. If you don't have a web application that you can use for this, simply right-click the default website and just simply add an application. I'm going to right-click my application, Example App Store, and select Explore in order to open the folder. Once open, I see that I have already created an index.html file that my users will automatically be routed to when they access my application. I see over here that I have a title, My App Store, some styling, a header, and a link tag where I will later add a link to trigger the download of my application. For now, we can close this index file. We'll come back to it later. The next step is to take your IPA file and your plist file and add them to your web application on your web server. Once they're added, we simply want to edit the plist file using your favorite text editor. Once open, we want to find the key that corresponds to the URL of our IPA file. In the value for that key, we want to simply type in the location of our RPA file. In my case, it's on my web server in my example app store web application with the file name mada.ipa, which is my application file. Once I edit that, I can save and close. We'll no longer need the plist file. After you edit the plist file, you'll need to edit the index.html file. We saw before that we had a placeholder for the download link. I'm now going to add a label for the link, Mata application, and then set the href parameter. For the href parameter, we are going to use the ITMS services protocol to communicate with the device. So the device will see the protocol and ask, what do you want me to do? And here, we pass it an action parameter that tells it to download manifest. That action says, hey, download an app from a manifest file, aka our plist file. But once we tell it to download using the plist file, the device will ask, what manifest file? So we will want to add another parameter that is the URL to our plist file. Just like our IPA file, I know that this is on our web server in my example app store web application. Then the plist file is simply Mata, my application name dot plist. Now simply save and close the index file. We're almost done. Returning to my simulator, I see that I now have a nifty download link for my iOS app. You can now email your website link to your users. When they click the link to your iOS app from their mobile devices, the download and install of the application will be automatically triggered. It's as simple as that. And that's a wrap for this Mata course on iOS rebranding, deployment, non-MDM.